Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. This is the ninth and last episode that I have planned and it has to do with cleaning the mod. There will be more episodes but I don't know what the topics are going to be. That is entirely up to you guys depending on the questions, uh, the comments that you make to see what you'd like to know. As long as I know I will share the information with you. For now, to clean my mod, I'm going to use the Morrowind Enchanted Editor. I click to open, I'm going to navigate to my mod, learning things. And now we can see all the categories, all the things that you can ever modify in a mod. And some of them have been modified in my learning thing ESP. To check that I don't have any dirty references, I'm going to go from top to bottom. Now you can see immediately that if it is a small mod like this one, it's totally manageable. If it's a massive mod, well, it can get quite messy. For now, it's a tiny mod. Secret storage, I want. Test cell, that was something for myself. Players don't need or care for an extra cell. Satan in Bitter Coast region. Did I modify that? I did. The only thing I did was to put... Yes, I changed the door to go to Vodin, Vodunius house. So that's good. In the house, I changed two things. I added a trap door and I placed a key to open the trap door. We're good. Cells, just one we want to get rid of. Clothing. Yes, I did modify Nusius's ring. I gave it a new mesh and a new icon. We move on. Containers. I created a barrel with high capacity. I created a small chest with high capacity. However, I did not want to modify chest small or one. It's a vanilla object. I have no business modifying it. It's not a replacer of any kind. I take it. Dialogues. I did add greetings in greeting one. I did modify the journal entry MS Nusius. Did I actually modify the topic, Vodunius Nusius? I think not. I looked at it. I looked at it, but I did not intend to modify it. Let's, let's look in details just to make sure. Right, Vodunius Nusius saying, thank you, you're a lifesaver. No, you see this, I looked at because I wanted to see what's happening in the result box but I did not intend to change it so no and while I'm at it no next up yes this is my new NPC with a greeting if I belong to the twin lobs and this is not something I want to keep if you remember in the dialogue window of the construction set I placed my new greeting directly below that one because I don't want to break the quest. However, I do not want to modify this. This is my second greeting. We keep it. MS Nusius, this is the journal entry and it is true. I did add this line. That's good. The last one. The winds have whispered to me. Uh -uh. That is the greeting that is directly below the greetings I added but I don't want to modify it. Going down doors, they're both mine. You see how useful it is to have a prefix that you can recognize easily. Uh, miscellaneous item, yes, it is mine. I created it, I created that. Scripts, I did create this new script and I did modify Vodunius, Nusius, uh, Vodunius script by adding a single line right, th right there. That's the one. Static model. Uh uh, no. I did place some tapestries, but I never intended to create a reference for it. Tick. Now that I have ticked all the things that shouldn't be in my mod, I can hit delete marked. I want to save. Let's, you know, be safe and uh, make it save as. So if you deleted something you shouldn't have, it has happened. At least you can uh, you can go back to your original mod. This is done. The second tool to... Now to look at test3 command. If you're like me, you downloaded it 
unzipped it in your data files, found the exe, double click, something happened, and then not. That's because you actually need to use a console. So you may hit on your keyboard the Windows uh, key R, type command, OK, and open the console. Or, uh, sorry, from there, you're going to need to navigate to your data files. Or if you have Windows 10, you can actually open the Windows PowerShell right there. And it's going to take you straight where you are because that's where you opened it. From there on, you'll be able to use test3 command uh, such as it is. They are, it's a very, very powerful tool. I only know how to use three commands because they are the ones I need. The first one is obviously to clean. So you're gonna type in clean and in uh, quotation marks, the name of your mod, learning things, .esp. If you don't put the extension, it's actually not gonna work. Hit enter and see the magic happen. Uh, it's going to do a number of things. This I didn't do in Morrowind Enchanted Editor. Uh, MB weight light. Okay, it's clean now. Brilliant. The output is saved as clean learning things ESP. My original unaltered is learning things ESP. So the way it is, learning things. This is my dirty mod. This is the one for my Morrowind Enchanter. And this is, where is it, clean learning things. This is the output. All right, brilliant. There are two other commands that are very useful. Uh, test is not going to be enough. Test three command. Uh, the magic one, fix it. And what it does is it's going to, what did I do? What it does is it's going to scan through all of your active plugins, clean all of them, and merge the level list for you. However, if you look here, you'll see that the output is now the original name and the backup is till day one. This one is more useful as a player, really. You want to fix everything, clean everything, and you don't have to go in and go, oh, right. I don't want learning things to be active. I need clean learning things to be active. Very useful nonetheless. Uh, the third one that, no, it's not fixed yet, that uh, I like to use is multi-patch. Also useful as a player. It is going to scan through your active modes, merge the level list, and give you a multi-patch.esp for you to use unless you prefer to use the merge level list from right uh, mash it's up to you now all the console i mean i guess it's kind of fun but personally i'm rather lazy so using notepad we're going to create a number of batch files super simple super easy i actually saw that on the forum once upon a time uh, i bookmarked thing and saved it in notepad you're going to type in the commands that you would normally use in the console test 3 command multi patch for example then you want to save it not as a text file but as a dot bat you save it as a dot bat well me i already have it so i'm replacing it and you want to make sure it is in your data files where you have test 3 command and now i can just double click it's going to do its magic close done Brilliant. Fix it is going to do the exact same thing for me, except this time the command is fix it. Double click, scanning through my mods, fixing things, done. Brilliant. The window closes itself because as a player I probably don't care too much, though really you should keep an eye on what your mods are doing. If you actually want to have time to read the report, you just add a line, pause. And now you double click, you launch it, it does its thing, but it's gonna wait for you until you're happy with what you're reading. Hit the key and it closes. But this is a modding tutorial. We are most interested in the clean. Now for this one, you have to love it. If you look at it, I have test three command clean. 
and in my quotation marks, instead of having the name of my mod, I have percentage tilde 1 and the post because I want to be able to read the report. As a modder, I want to know what was cleaned, what was done to my plugin. Same thing, don't forget to save it as a dot bat. And now what I need to do is quite simply uh, drag the mod onto my bat file. It's gonna do its thing. In that case, nothing because uh, the mods in that folder are now clean. But there you have it. Drag does its thing. Still clean, amazing. And that concludes the tutorial on cleaning your mod. I hope that was useful for you. Um, as I said in uh, the description at the beginning of the video, the next topics are entirely up to you guys. Tell me if there is something that interests you more or less. And as long as I'm able to tell you or as long as I'm able to find the information, I'll be producing another video. That's it for today though. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.